one TVC checkout's running. And now you'll be able to see the Stage 1 engines gimbling or tilting, as you see, while we're completing those final thrust vector control health checks. Stage 1 is on internal power. The strong back will be retracting shortly here. Strong back is retracting. There you go. We're retracting those that black truss structure to prepare for stage two TVC checkout. For umbilical separation now that both stages are on internal power. And now we're doing those final thrust vector control health checks on the upper stage. Starting final review of launch commit criteria. Wow, we are very closely approaching T minus one minute. I just want to remind all of us here that what you're looking at on your screen is 85% 3D printed and it is about to fly. Next up, our range coordinator will ask the range for their final status. Rock report range status. Range green. That was confirmation. The range is green for launch. On closing out. Flight computer configured for launch. Under one minute. LD, are you go for launch? LD, go for launch. There's that final go for launch. We are just over 30 seconds away until the maiden launch of this vehicle. Good luck, okay, Terran One, and have fun. Here we go. over the Atlantic Ocean. Our next ascent milestone is max Q around 80 seconds. Terran 1 is supersonic. Get to one switch over at the ground station. Max Q. A new history 
Taryn Kamer ready to play today. You just heard that call out indicating Taryn one just made it through. Max Q. We just completed a major step in proving to the world that 3D printed rockets are structurally viable. Up next, we'll be looking for a call out that stage one performance is nominal. and upper stage ignition. This means that we had a main engine cut off for stage one and directly following that we had second stage ignition which you can see the Aeon vacuum engine in that beautiful view in the night sky. Reminder there is no fairing for this maiden launch as we don't have a customer payload but we do instead have a memento of the first ever circular test print. We are currently standing by for an update on what's happening with the Stage 2 engine. Announcement on down. This is the LD. There has been a T plus anomaly with stage two. LC, please begin anomaly procedure section 25. Copy. As you heard from our launch director, we did have an anomaly with stage two during flight. But maiden launches are always exciting and today's flight was no exception. Although we didn't reach orbit, we significantly exceeded our key objectives for this first launch. And that objective was to gather data at max Q, one of the most demanding phases of flight and achieve stage separation. Today's flight data will be invaluable to our team as we look to further improve our rockets, including Terran R. 
Our team will now carefully analyze this data to determine what led to this outcome. So stay tuned to at Relativity Space on Twitter and RelativitySpace.com for additional updates in the days and weeks ahead. I want to thank the entire Relativity team for all of their hard work in getting us to this point. No one's ever attempted to launch a 3D printed rocket into orbit. And while we didn't make it all the way today, we gathered enough data to show that flying 3D printed rockets is possible. As Arwo mentioned, we will apply the lessons learned today in our future vehicle, Terran R. What we are doing has never been done before, but it is undoubtedly a worthwhile endeavor that will transform the aerospace industry forever. And with that, we will conclude our coverage for tonight. I am Rochelle Aniceto. It has been an honor. And I'm Arwa Tazani-Kelly. Thank you, and see you next time.